Hello everyone and welcome to our video series on advanced Google applications in the classroom. Uh, this series, this particular video I should say, will focus on Google Sites. All right. Now, my first disclaimer, I am not an expert on Google Sites. And the reason why I have not been an expert on Google Sites is that for years I really didn't like the way Google Sites looked. Uh, the templates looked old to me, they looked sort of, you know, just just not really visually appealing and I know some kind of you know, funky ways to put this together. Uh, so with that said and done, uh, Google has updated Google Sites and there's some really nice new additions here and the ease of use is, is much, much improved. So again, how do you get to Google Sites? Well, we always start with our little waffle icon here, right? And you'll see Google Sites. Now if it's not here, you might have to go to More. And if you go to More, if it's not here, you might have to go even more. And then once you go there, you'll find all these great Google products and at the very, very bottom of the page will be all the apps that you can sort of add to your uh, <laughs> all the products okay so you can kind of dig around a little little bit for yourself okay so uh, definitely check all that out all right so once you actually hit Google Sites uh, this will come up now I left this here purposely this was the old setup and I was playing around with some test sites and I can just open this up really quickly so you get a sense of what it actually used to look like oh I'm in my personal account sorry about that I'm gonna switch accounts Nope, I gotta switch it up here, I guess. Sorry about that. Okay, cool. And this was the old way, and I was trying to do some stuff for my Kenesha stuff, my Kenesha's folks. It was actually during the Google Summit, so using some some visuals that I had. And, you know, you can, like, it was just hard to manipulate, and you had to go, like, settings, and you had to, like, you know, edit the site layout, and it's just, I just never liked it. It just looked horrible to me. I just never really got into it, all right? So... If I close out of all of this stuff, and now I go back to here, I'll say go to school the new Google Sites. All right, and whoa, look at it. Now it matches everything else. It matches Google Classroom, it matches the Drive app, it matches the Sheets app. Um, so now you got, you got the button here that's become standard in the bottom right hand corner to create a new site. Okay, let's just create one, and we'll just call it something fun for now. Okay, test site or something like, like that. Okay, and you know you can see how you use like you label Google Doc. It's the same thing. So test sites, all right. You can preview it. You can add editors. This is huge, right? So this is just like a Google Doc, right? So now I could add you know colleagues. Or what I'm thinking more is this could be a great student project where they can all add each other as editors, just like you do in a Google Doc. You can have students build a site for like a a unit piece, a portfolio piece. Uh, science lab piece I you know there's just endless possibilities here and I can't wait to really use this I really think next couple you know months uh, maybe the next semester I'll really try to dive into this more but it's really easy like insert a text box I mean and then look it's got the nice formatting okay uh, insert an image and it'll go right to your you know Google Photos or it'll go to Google Drive it won't go to Google Photos sorry it won't go to Google Photos it'll go to Drive but I think you go to your albums it'll get you into Google Photos all right, so you could add images super easily, okay? You could upload like files and stuff, right? So you wanna put like a file there, anything like that. Um, and either embed or URL, which is important, okay? Um, paste the URL link into that. Uh, and it will embed it, it will embed it from the page, okay? So that's really some neat, neat things there, okay? Now, you could also go right from your Google Drive. You can like add like a folder here, a drive folder, right from your drive, it'll add a document. It will embed YouTube videos. It will embed a calendar, your Google Calendar. It will also embed Google Maps. So there's some really some cool things you could do there with Google Maps. All right. And then it will also just easily import any of these Google Doc features. All right. So this is awesome. And then you got the pages. You can add another page. All right. Um, I don't know. Page two. I'm just kind of messing around here. Done. Okay. So now you got page two of your site. Okay. So I'm at the home page. And then there's page two, all right? So you kind of play around with that. And then you also got themes, okay? So you got simple themes, impression themes, Aristotle themes, not a lot yet. And I'm sure there's gonna be a lot more added, but they're nice, they're simple. The other ones were kind of like, you know, the old fashioned one, I remember always being like the education website, had like the notebook with the, you know, with the spiral bound on the, on the side. And I mean, that looked cool in 1990, but you know, I don't know. I like a minimalist sort of clean website. And this is all about that sort of, you know, minimalist, uh, you know, design to it, which is awesome. Okay. Now, what's really cool about this that I didn't forget to mention this to you is that 
Also, it also automatically sizes, which is really important. So what I mean by that is if you view this page on a browser, on a laptop Chromebook, or even on an iPad or your phone, it will automatically adjust it. Now, the old sites, you had to play around with that because a website might look really funny on a phone compared to how it looked like on an actual larger screen on a desktop. So this is great. This is a really big improvement that was a long time in coming. And you get site analytics, like where, how much is being clicked, which is awesome. And you can take the little tour, uh, you know, which is always kind of cool there. When you first do this for the very first time, it'll say take the tour. All right, so have some fun with this. I do not expect anyone to send me all these great uh, <laughs> uh, new websites they've made, uh, but I hope you have some fun playing around with Google Sites and sharing some ideas of how you might use this in your own classroom. Okay, thanks so much and have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.